Okay guys, before we start this tutorial, I'm going to show you the ET Productions channel. Uh, he's got one video called Gift Tutorial, How to Make an Eyeball, so he's Gift Tutorials too. Uh, he wanted me to mention him in my next video, so I just said, uh, the heck. He does, he has, let's see how many subscribers, he's only got one subscriber right now, so please subscribe to him. It'd really help him out. Oh yeah, and subscribe to me too, I didn't mention that. <laughs> uh, awesome, he subscribed to me now. Well, anyways, subscribe to him, look at his channel. It's youtube.com slash user, the ETC Productions. Do that. And guys, I really need a new microphone, I'm gonna have to buy one pretty soon to get rid of that fuzziness. Hey, ETC Productions, you need a icon. Might wanna look at my tutorial on how to make one. Uh, okay, subscribe to him, just click there, which I just did, and talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, I finally got a tutorial request. Uh, I, the, he asked, uh, tech to help. He asked, uh, me to make a, uh, Twitter background for, or how to, how to make a Twitter background. Uh, for you guys. I didn't really feel like doing all that stuff, so I just made a template. Uh, here it is. You can get it over there in the description over there. Just right click on it and click edit with GIMP, or you could just drag the icon like that. I'm just gonna edit with GIMP. <coughs> like my new, uh, sport. Looks kinda cool, I think. Right there. And little icon logo right there. Cool. Uh, I just did that not too long ago. Just a couple minutes ago. Here's the template. It's kind of small, but to tell you the truth, if you make a big one, it'll just squish it together, you know? And this is actually the size it's supposed to be. So, yeah. Okay, what I'm going to do first is, let's see. I'm going to add really, like, white, dark, or white uh, backgrounds. Don't really look that good. I like darkish ones because it, like, sh it lets the white pop out, you know? Okay, I'm going to turn this black, like I just did. And actually, yeah, I'm gonna make it black because gradients don't really work out too well. I'm just gonna put a little text in there. I'm just gonna show you this as an example. You can do whatever you want. Sans bold, put a little text. Turn that white. Actually, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna make. Let's see, I'm gonna make a little. I'm gonna do what I did in that splash image. Just put a little circle here. Hmm. Fill that in with black. It's already filled in black because of the background, but whatever. Okay. Now, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and make a border now. Move that down. Uh, select, grow, grow up by about 14. No, no, this one's smaller, so I'll make it 7. Uh, red. I like red and black because it looks kind of cool, I think. No, I'm not gothic or anything because gothic people like red and black for some reason. I don't know. I just like it too. <laughs> I just like the colors. I like red, but black and red like blend in together, so. I don't really like black that much. Okay. T G K the game can. Uh I don't know why it oh it's below the layer. Move that up. There we go. Okay. Later. Let's put that where you think it fit and then just click there and then click here to make it uh, it's already centered. That's awesome. Okay, now I'm just gonna layer. Uh, make your background layer invisible. Now, let's see. Image, merge visual layers, merge. There. Now I'll let it show again. Okay, now I'm gonna do. Let's see. Alpha the selection. Select all of that. Take my clips. 
click the, uh, what's it called? Selection, over selection thing. Intersect with current selection. Now what I'm gonna do is just do this. Just do what I did in that splash image. Select it so it's like curved. Now select invert and make it white. Whoops, make a new layer first. Move that blue. No. Right, move it above. White. Okay. Bone. Just a little bit. Like my 25. Now, what we gotta do now is we're gonna take the black again. And just do this. I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna get this first. And then I'm gonna zoom in. So it like doesn't look crappy. Brush is really big. Yeah, that should be good. Okay, just do this. Sorry if it's kind of laggy. It looks laggy on my computer. Because the little green things moving kind of slow for some reason. I got some my programs, I'm not surprised. Oops. Eh. Okay, zoom back out. Oops. This is annoying. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, select another. There. Now I'll just put some text. I'm gonna go again, again, again. Make this red. Like, oops. If you know anything else that uh, blends in with black, tell me. I blend with red. I mean, that looks good with red, other than the black tell me because some people have been telling me stuff <laughs> about black and red. Okay, now that should be good. That looks kind of good to me. Uh, maybe put some information here, like your website name about you. You could even put your little picture here or put your logo here. Uh, I'll put, whoops, make a new layer first. And you guys can follow me at twitter.com slash the gimp king if you guys want. Uh okay. shrink that down just a bit. Mm. I'm center that. On the gimp thing on the bottom of my splash, I didn't center it very good. And it didn't turn out very well. There you go, there's mine. Twitter background. I, I might put it on my Twitter, but I might not. Depends. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye.